Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, architect at Winelect, and today we're going to be looking at how to set up custom domains and certificates with Azure App Services. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain with SSL on an app service. This is a very simple demo to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a app service that uses a web app. And so I'm going to deploy a website to this. So the first thing to do is just go ahead and set this up and I'm going to set it up real quickly using the Azure portal. And I'm going to select some basic settings for this and, um, with that in mind, just take a lot of the defaults because really to do this, you can do it with basically any of the settings that you would otherwise have. That is, it doesn't matter if it's Linux or Windows or premium or standard or even basic, they all allow for custom domains and SSLs. Now, some of the lower end tiers don't allow for um, things like SSL or custom domains, but uh, anything that you would use in more of a production oriented environment will allow you to have these custom domains and SSL certificates. So the first thing to do is get an app service up and running. And since I have this up and running, uh, as soon as this comes back, I will show you how to do this using a domain that I register for dev purposes and a SSL that I have associated with it. Okay, now that my uh, resource group has a web app and an app service uh, deployed to it, I can go to this resource group and the app service that it has, and I can see that I have the app service here running. Now to set up a custom domain, you can come down here to the settings uh, blade and you have here custom uh, domain and SSL settings. So I can come over here to custom domains and I, this is where I can set up things like SSL and a domain name if I already have one. So the first thing I need to do is add a custom domain here. So to do that, I'm gonna click this add custom domain. Now this has to go through a validation process. So to validate my custom domain, uh, first I'm going to type it in right here. So my custom domain is blaze XYZ. This is a little one I bought for dev purposes. And it's gonna give me two different types of uh, validation to do for this. I can either use a, a record that is an A record that points to an IP address, or I can use a C name record, which will point to an alias. That is, I can alias www.blaze.xyz uh, to whatever I'm running here on app services. That would be Blaze Demo 2 and on Azure websites or whatever the uh, uh, AzureWebsites.net, that domain there. I'm going to use the first option here because I'm going to bind it to the root. And so what I have to do is add in a couple of DNS entries into my registrar in order to validate this domain. So to do that, I'm going to hop over to Cloudflare. And Cloudflare is my registrar for this domain. Now, the first thing I need to do is add in the A record for this. So I'm going to click an add record and it's the A record and I'm going to put the ampersand here and it's going to ask me for the IP address for this. Now the IP address I have is this one right here and I'm going to plug that in and it doesn't need that space at the beginning and I'm going to save that. And uh, once I have that record in, I can do a TXT record and point it to this value here. So let's come back over here and then add in a TXT record. Um, and it's going to ask me for the name, which is going to be for the root. And I'm going to paste in the content for the content, the data that is, uh, it said put in there, which is the, uh, the domain that is on azurewebsites.net. And once I have that, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to change this setting here because the default on Cloudflare is to proxy this. I don't want to proxy it. I want it to go straight to this Azure app service. So once I have those settings in, I can flip back over to my uh, Azure portal here and then come up here and hit validate and it will attempt to validate my record. And now that it's validated, it has the host name availability and the domain ownership. I can click add a custom domain. 
and that custom domain is now available for use on Azure Apps Services. Now, that's not the uh, last thing I want to do here. The last thing I want to do here in this pane is add a SSL certificate to this, and uh, that's actually fairly easy to do. I can come over here to add binding, and what this is going to want me to do is upload a certificate file. Now, there's a lot of ways to get certificates. Uh, I could detail 10 different ways to do this. Um, the main thing that you want to do here is get your certificate in a PFX format. And a PFX format is uh, a format that has the private key and the public key in the, f in the same file, and it's usually password protected. Now, for mine, I used SSL, I use uh, Let's Encrypt and generate an SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt and then use OpenSSL utility from the CLI to convert that to a PFX file from the PIM formats that it outputs. And I have that on my hard drive here. So if I come over here, I should have it right here, blaze.xyz.pfx. And I password protected that guy um, so it can decrypt the, the PFX file. And once I have that, imported it's going to say choose the, the thumbprint that i want to use and uh, the tls type i'm going to use sni uh, ssl that basically binds the certificate to the domain name and it will use the domain the uh, http 1.1 host header to match that to the certificate that i am using here uh, and validate the domain against that um, so once i have that I can add this binding and my site is now bound with SSL and uh, once that comes back it will tell me uh, everything is good to go. Now I can come over here to my um, overview and it sh should show me the URL right here. Now if I pull this up the it's going to go to a dev site so I have currently running on this dev site nothing of particular importance other than the, the landing page, but to just show you that's not smoke and mirrors. I'm going to use a tool called Kudu to upload some uh, HTML to this page, and I can do uh, Kudu here, which is called Advanced Tools, and then I can launch this. And with this little tool, I can actually upload a web page that will uh, display content that isn't the default landing page here. So I'm going to go to uh, the CMD. And with this, I can go to site and go into WW root. And this is where it's going to put all the content for this. And then I can come over here to this folder, which is just a bunch of static content that I've used in previous demos. And then I'm just going to drag it right here on top. And it's going to upload all of that content to my website using Kudu. And it doesn't have to decrypt it or decompress it. It's just all there. And then if I reload this page, I should get the uh, index.html. And this is the one uh, demo that I've been using in other demos related to app services here is this little website. I am Blaze Stewart, not CEO of Microsoft, and that's Satya Nadella in the background. So you can see that I've, I just uploaded this little website here, and this is the certificate that I have. Uh, for this particular site. So uh, it's a little SS, uh, Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. It should, it's valid through uh, the um, 20, 2020 at uh, the 1st of July, uh, the 30th of July in 2020. So uh, three months there. So this is a very simple demo on how to create a custom domain and how to add a SSL binding for that custom domain on Azure App Services. So next time we're going to be looking at some additional features related to Azure App Services in this series that we're doing on Azure App Services with Tech on Fire with Blaze. If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the one mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.